Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Phil, this is Samantha. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're Bars and Barbells, and uh, reaction videos have been a plenty on the channel since we started, <laughs> back in January. It's been yes. a fun year so far. It has. Learned a lot. A lot. We're about to learn a little bit more. Been exposed to a lot of new things. Yeah, but we're going to expand on that catalog right now Ooh. by doing Credence Clearwater Revival, Born on the Bayou at Woodstock in 1969. Mm. I don't think we've done anything from Woodstock yet, have we? We have not. Right. We've done the Monterey Festival yeah. with um, Janis Joplin, and we did um, Jimi Hendrix was the other one. And so I think that's like the major festivals that are around that time period that we've done. And this, like I said, Woodstock, obviously, maybe, maybe the most well-known. Oh, yeah. Huge. Festival of all time. And... So apparently, Clear, Creedence Clearwater Revival was the first act signed to do Woodstock in 1969, oh, cool. which is very cool. I've never heard of them before. The first introduction I had to them was on the comments that you guys left in Tina Turner's Proud Mary. And I think I mistakenly had said in that one that Tina Turner had written that song, but was originally written by Creedence Clearwater. And I think I must have read that. You know, and somebody gave improper information on it. Because oh, okay. usually I'm not going to say something like yeah, that yeah, unless no, I've read it. Was, it so. was in that, like, you know, when you do the initial little bit of research, that's yeah. what came up. Yeah. yeah. So uh, maybe I just read it wrong. But anyway, so that's how we got introduced to Creedence Clearwater Revival. And you guys were saying that we should do something from them. And uh, so I figured, you know, why not check out this song from them? Why not check out Woodstock? And I think this is, we were reading maybe their second, if not most popular song. So one of their top songs. But they've had... I think we were reading a couple number one albums and they had some top singles. Um, so they were clearly pretty popular at one point. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, I just, I guess we've never heard, heard the name them. before. And yeah. I, I'm speaking for myself, but I assume that's the I same have never you. heard of them either, no. I honestly don't really know much about that time period, like prior, besides what we've done on the channel mm -hmm. and has been new to yeah. us. Um, and even Woodstock, like I couldn't even tell you who performed there. So. Well, I mean, Woodstock in 1969 is now 54 years ago. Yes. So, <laughs> you know, that's uh, far removed even from when we were born. So, yeah. you know, it's uh, we're learning. That's why we're going back in time to do this stuff, to really appreciate all the cool events that took place before our time and will likely never be experienced again the way yeah. the world is going now. We're going digitized. So, yeah. Um, we get to now reminisce and reminisce. Hopefully you guys enjoy reminiscing as well. Just remember, hit the like button, leave us a comment. Other than that, you ready to get it going? I am. Let's do it. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, to continue, please warmly welcome with us Credence Clearwater Revival. <laughs>
vocal's crazy. <laughs> I love the like growliness of yeah. his vocal. Oh, such a fire vocal. I, I could mean. also definitely see them, well, especially his vocal, performing that Proud Mary song as well. Like I could see Can how you? that would be, yeah. I haven't thought of it <laughs> until you said it. I definitely could see how like he would be like pronouncing and, and performing that yeah. song too and do it really well. Well, I mean, this one, he's just destroyed. Killing it. It's such yeah. a, like, that's what's most standout-ish, obviously. Um, that's carrying this whole performance for me. Um, I mean, it's from 1969. Yeah. So clearly, and it's live as well. So yeah. clearly the music's muddied. That's like the only thing I'm a little disappointed with yeah. is that it's hard to hear the difference between like the bass and the electric guitar. Yeah, and like the all drums the instrumental are, pieces. Are really like, you know deep in the mix but then it shows and highlights how strong his vocal comes is Mm -hmm. because it comes in so clear yes so much clarity like you said got this you know growl this grittiness to it i love it almost reminds me of like janis joplin a little bit but like a male on the yeah on the you know male spectrum so um but that just fire like (laughs) you know they kind of had that you know a little bit when they came in with the solos and then his vocal came back and mm-hmm. it's just like oh yeah like you you, you got that fire again yeah <laughs> started right off the bat with it then it came back in yeah, yeah. more fire yeah i love the vocal too. that's definitely my favorite part of it so yeah far. me too That would have been a groove. Or vibe, sorry. That would have been a vibe at Woodstock. What? That would have been a vibe at Woodstock. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. I'd like to just move right along with the, one of them <laughs> shorties called Green River. It's interesting because I didn't really catch much of an accent when he was singing. Yeah. Maybe there was a little one, a little bit of one there, but it sounded like "Born on the Bayou" because that makes me think so. Think of New Orleans, right? Yeah. And so, it, I feel like it's a southern song, but I didn't really get a southern vibe like, from yeah. the accent or anything like that. So, yeah. I don't when know, he was guys, just talking there a little bit, it sounded. That's what I was saying, but I didn't really catch that initially. So, yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't remember if we came across where they're from, but you guys can let us know in those yeah. comments where they originated from. Um, interesting lyrics as well. You know, um, what did he say? A hoodoo? Yeah. Which I, I have no idea is, what a hoodoo is. Isn't it like a spirit like kind of no thing? <laughs> I've never heard that, heard that in my life. Sure. I would imagine it's something to do with New Orleans as well, like yeah. the hoodoo aspect. And yeah. Talk about well, the there's a lot of July like, and, like I, I could be wrong, but from what I remember, there's a lot of kind of history and stuff or with New Orleans around like witchcraft and like uh, myth, like myth 
a lot of myths and stuff like that. Like yeah. all that kind of like ooh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, I'm sure that's the resemblance, but anyways, his vo- vocal was fire. Yeah. Um, it had a great groove to it. Like, uh, you I know, loved it. yeah, it was, it was awesome. I, I was, that's what I was just saying. I wish like, you know, maybe there's a better quality version out there. I can check out after the fact. Like maybe a remastered can... thing or something. Yeah, well, just in general, maybe like a studio version. This is a live version, right? But um, you guys can let us know in those comments if there is uh, anything else we should check out from Creedence Clearwater Revival. Yeah. Um, really got a great sound. Great, great vocal, like I said. So I'm interested in checking out more from them for Me sure. Um, but uh, this is cool. Uh, we didn't get to see any from the cl- anything from the crowd. I was hoping to see that yeah. you know, at the Woodstock. You know, Maybe get some shots of the crowd, but yeah. maybe on the next one. You, you guys can hit a recommendation yeah. below. Hit the like yeah, button. Yeah, if there's anything else from Woodstock, we should watch yeah uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and come back for our next video thanks for watching bye guys